Well, most events take us a few years to get, it takes a while to get established. Mm -hmm. You know, you start and then it keeps growing and growing and growing. You've got to grow roots, right? It's you like grow. plants. You grow. Listen to this. Part of the inaugural Tales and Trails event is already sold out. The half marathon, but you've still got options. Guys. All right, we've got a good crew here this morning. We've got Rob Owens, Rachel Balkovic, Tom Howard joins mm -hmm. us as well, and two companions. <laughs> Who are these guys? We have Hoyt. Mm -hmm. Hoyt is a, a pit bull who's available for adoption right now through Hands, Hearts, and Paws. And we have Henry. Um, he's with Pug Partners of Nebraska, um, and he's on medical hold right now. So, what does that mean? Um, he's just going through some treatments, he had mm -hmm. some mange. Um, and he had FHL surgery, so he's on medical hold. Tell us about at, at some point, he'll be available for adoption then? Yes. Okay. He'll be healthy. Yes. Uh, tell us about Hoyt. What's yeah. Hoyt's deal? We're anxious oh, to hear his story. Yeah, Hoyt's 10 Hoyt's months old. Hoyt's a good looking dog. Um, he's a deaf pit bull. Um, when he first came he, to us, he just. He can't hear at all. Nope, can't hear at all. Um, he does know hand signs. Um, took about two, three months to teach him. Well, he not does to know sniff. some hand signs. Huh? <laughs> yep. hey. His, his <laughs> nose still his works nose, well, doesn't yep. it? It's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Can you yeah. demonstrate yes. something for us? Wow. Do your other hand, buddy. No. Other hand. <laughs> he Wait. said, I'm a lefty. <laughs> That's great. Wow. Great. What a, what a great dog. Oh, he's very bright. Loves, loves kids, loves other dogs. Mm -hmm. um, cats, very not happy. so much because he wants to play with them. So <laughs> if they go on the counter, he will uh -huh. go on the counter. So you, so. you have this tails and trails. <laughs> you have this tails and trails coming up. What's the concept here, Rob? Well, the concept is we wanted to come together with uh, a couple of animal rescues, local animal no-kill rescues, and then have a race, which is a dog-friendly race here in mm -hmm. Omaha, and it's a non-profit race where all of, all of our profits going to go to these three rescues, Hands, mm -hmm. Hearts, and Paws, Pug Partners, and Little White Dog little Rescue. Little White Dog. Oh, another good one. I see them around mm -hmm. the community all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, any idea of turnout at this point? It's hard since it's your first event, right. but if we're talking about the half marathon being sold out, Right. That gives you a good indication of where people are on it. Yes, and we, you know we're really lucky because we've had a lot of support through um, the trail running group that we know, uh, Goats, which is a uh -huh. partner race, partner race of ours. So a lot of them signed up for the half, but we have the 10k and 5k <laughs> availabilities uh -huh. and the one mile walk. There's about 10 slots left. Give uh, us uh, some of the the routes. Uh, where are you going to start and end? And I'm sure it varies based well, on how long people are running. Sure. Yeah, it's all out of Chalco Hills, which is out in uh, southwest Nebraska. Um, well, it's southwest Omaha. Omaha. Are we sending them all the way yeah, to you're right. okay. Nebraska, <laughs> Rob? Sorry about driving that. Driving several uh, hours, let's make it appealing. You're only driving to, a few minutes. See, this is why I need people like well, Rachel and Rachel, because well, they well, keep me in yeah. line. Well, well, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Let I let just act by. like I do. She will <laughs> correct I, you I in a second. I try to listen. No. I listen. But it is in southwest Omaha, right? Omaha, yes. Guidelines for dog safety. I've never been to a run where dogs were invited as well. What should people keep in mind? Well, one dog per runner, and they have to be on a leash. If they have a little doggy doo doo, please make sure you pick it up. You can mm -hmm. get it after the race. But just for the most part, um, I mean, you can run without your dog too. You don't mm -hmm. have to do that. But uh, the main point is just raising awareness and raising some money for these local rescues. I noticed Tom has a non retractable cookie monster leash. It yes. doesn't have to be Sesame Street oriented. Mm -hmm. But I know you don't <laughs> want any of those retractable leashes uh, just for control the day of the event. Right. Well, I mean, as, yeah, as long as they have control of the dog, that's mm -hmm. that's the main issue. The most important yeah. part of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Dogs will be um, available for adoption. Yes. Hoyt is? Hoyt is. Hoyt right. is available for adoption. Yeah, Tom's been the uh, foster for about four months now. Wow. Gotcha. So mm -hmm. th if you're looking for a pet, maybe you'll find the perfect one uh, <laughs> while you're out running. Yeah. Let's talk about the money raised and where it'll go. Um, I know you're not just a co-race director, but you're also a volunteer mm -hmm. with Pug Partners. So how would you use the money that's generated through this event? Uh, we use the money for uh, to pay for the vet bills. Um, we are a non-for-profit, so we, we don't... Uh, pay ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, so the money is, is strictly to rescue the dogs and get them the necessary vet care that they need. Have, you had, have you had some uh, good feedback on this event? Have you had some people register? What do you expect for turnout? Well, right now we have a total of 192, 193 registered. That's Half great. is sold out. We got 10 slots left in the one mile. 50 in each for 5K and 10K. So, so far so good for the first year. For the first yeah, that's year. Great. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what great. do our viewers do if they want to join you? Well, if they want to join us, uh, they can go to the Facebook page. And on the Facebook page, we also have registration on there as well. We're also looking for volunteers. Just come on out. It'll be a really mm -hmm. good time. Well, uh, Omaha loves animals, right? There are yeah, so we many do people too. here, we right? Love, that's why we're doing this. We've got these rescue <laughs> groups. We've got pet owners all over the place. Mm -hmm. The running community is right. as strong as any. Been very so supportive. it makes so much sense to put it all together. Right, yeah. It's and we've been bright. just really lucky with all of the feedback we've been getting. And 
people registering. Please learn more online. Tells the letter in, tells and trails Omaha .com. Uh, mm -hmm. The event is coming on May 16th, but we want you to realize that if the half is already sold out, some of these other categories are going to sell quickly too. So <laughs> if it speaks to you and you're compelled, don't hesitate to register. I think, I think we have we a got some really cool swag too, like yeah. the, the dogs get a, a bandana and we got. Uh, They'll have a ball in oh. there, and the, and the winners, are, winners doggy get a, bags, get that a kind top of... dog dog bowl. Um, well, I know. I, I think we, I think the morning blend has a new mascot oh here. Oh my gosh! Hoyt is just he just Meanwhile, right in Henry in is ready for a nap. He can barely keep his eyes open. <laughs> He's just like Hoyt that. loves the attention. He's just yeah, like that. Thanks, thanks for thank coming you. in. Thanks yeah, for watching. Really great to have you here. Thank you both. Thank you.